Coffee. I'm your host, Busy Body, and of course, the main host, Mark Cook. Thank you so much for joining us this Thursday morning. I'm so excited for all the guests we have planned. You doing good this morning? I'm doing great. Um, we got a big day coming up. Too. We're jam packed, so you got to stay with us all morning. Absolutely. But we got to kick things off we right do. now, right? Absolutely. We're going to kick things off. We are. We're going to kick things off. We don't have a choice, Biz. This is what we've got to do. Because I've got Christine Cordy from Samaritan Healthcare and Hospice sitting in the hot seat right now. Good morning, Christine, and welcome. Good morning. Thank you for having me. You're quite welcome. So tell me about Samaritan. Samaritan is the leader in healthcare and hospice care. So let's talk about it. Why, sure. why is Samaritan the best? Samaritan is the best um, because we've been around for a really long time. We started providing hospice care in 1980. And that was really early, uh, before a lot of other people here in South Jersey. And we have not turned one patient away um, if they're eligible for our care in all of those years. Um, and we try to expand our services from hospice care, which is providing care um, at end of life, but we also try to help families before that mm -hmm. and then after that. So it's a long journey um, through uh, serious illness and grief. So that's pretty. Uh, that's a pretty amazing track record to have a 100% patient care uh, situation. Okay. Because yeah, you should be proud of it. Because let's let's think about this. For, since 1980, think about all of the issues that have changed and evolved with insurances and all sorts of the politics and all that other side of the business that gets in the way of care sometimes i can i can go out on a limb here and say that there aren't too many companies that could say that they've treated 100 percent of the patients that that have come through right. the door through thick and thin um and as the uh, the world has evolved one thing has remained the same and that's been us being there for people when life is so difficult when someone is facing a serious illness and that gives comfort support and dignity from beginning to end well and you, you know the dignity thing is 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 probably the biggest piece of it for somebody like me because you know it's a hardest it's a really hard thing when people are nearing the end of their life and they're they're starting to fail in ways that they've never failed before and and family members are are watching this and and there's a lot of sadness involved with it you want that person to not feel less of a person for, for what right. they're going through. Because unfortunately, guys, if you're lucky enough, you get to get old, and, right? Well, I think we're all going to get old. Well, yeah. not necessarily, okay. because, you know, there's a lot of situations well, where people don't get old, right? So it, it's a weird dynamic that we kind of have in our society that if, you, if you're lucky enough to get to that age, you really should be treated with the respect and the dignity that you kind of deserved and you've Absolutely. earned throughout your life. Well, and Go ahead. Uh, oh, well, go ahead. Yeah. So, no, I was going to say, so for the most part, we do plan for, everyone has wills. So they plan for what happens after the fact. Right. So we go, oh, well, I want to give this to so-and-so, or I don't want to, you know, do not resuscitate. People think about those things, but not everyone, you know, there's things that lead up to that. Not there's everyone just dies very yeah. quickly in a car accident or something right. like that. So I know that you guys do the advanced, um... Advanced care planning. Yeah. Uh, so, Samaritan, um, in the last couple years, has brought to the forefront an initiative to help the community talk about their end-of-life wishes mm -hmm. prior to that crisis moment, prior to being in the ICU where everybody is hectic and scared mm -hmm. and nervous and you don't know what's going on. Well, let's have these conversations early. Let's have a chat with our friends now, with our parents now. Um, and it doesn't always have to be a deep conversation every day because it's not an easy topic. Right. But if you dabble in it here and there, well now, well what if my loved one can't speak for themselves, what would they want? Mm. And knowing that answer is such peace of mind. Well, it's peace of mind and it, it connects a lot of the questions that come up that could really cause a lot of issues and problems down the road. Right. So it's one of those situations where if you're keeping everything way out in front of you and you're aware of anything mm -hmm. that may pop up, you're gonna be more prepared to deal with it. So I, I know that when we're dealing with, with healthcare and hospice care, we're dealing with, with people nearing the end of their life, but they're normally not the decision maker. So let's talk, let's talk directly to the people that are the decision makers. And, and how can we help them make this process a little bit easier? Because look, I, I know when I watched my parents take care of my grandparents mm -hmm. and, how, and how they had to, to, to 
facilitate all of the care for them. So how do you guys, uh, you know, well, approach that piece of it? The, the one big thing we find that's important is getting help for that caregiver. Uh, I will be caring for my parents. I've seen my friends start that. My aunt care for my grandmother firsthand, and and it's a hard job. Yeah. Caregiving for someone you love, I think, is the hardest job out there, mm -hmm. and you need support. And that's what Samaritan provides. It provides a team of people around that very difficult, trying time to answer your questions in the middle of the night, to guide you through steps and 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 care that you have never done before, but now you're the primary person. Right. Um, and just to help address any social uh, services issues, um, spiritual issues, and m just, again, answer all your questions and make that time. You have a support system. Yeah, I think what you're talking about is peace of mind. And mm -hmm. it's, it's a situation where uh, it's, it's a support system. It's so much more than I think what people think of when they think of healthcare or hospice. Mm -hmm. It's a total encompass, encompassing encompassment. It is. I don't know what I, like the, I don't know word. what the right let's word is, it. but let's use it. Let's go well, encompassment. I just <laughs> uh, I think I made that up. I don't I don't know if that's in the dictionary. I'm pretty sure it's not. Uh, but you know that's par for the course here and how I do things on, on morning coffee on the Radio Vision Network. We'll submit but, it this year. And if Webster's yeah, right? Well, if selfie and all of those other dumb words can, can make it, I think <laughs> encompassment should yeah. be there. I like it, though. I think it sounds right. I, you know it what? Covers, I'm not so sure it um, if, if, it, if it's not a word. Um, <laughs> Keith Reynolds is back there shaking his head uh, vehemently that it is not a word, but Keith, uh, I, I'm going to go ahead and disagree with you. But the point is, is that it's a wide range of services that provide a peace of mind and and quite frankly not every company that does what you do offer all of the services yeah. that Samaritan does. Not all hospices and companies are the same and people really need to do their research when they look into that but the one thing that we can all know is that it is that support and it is so many different levels of support right. um, that <clears throat> help people get through uh, a word that nobody likes to use and it, when I say it it's almost like I'm gonna curse but mm -hmm. I'm not but it helps people get through dying right um, and that's when I say that word around my mom she shush don't say that yeah. like a mom I'm not cursing here. right um, let's talk about this. yeah unfortunately it's gonna happen whether she wants it to or it's not gonna happen and if we're gonna if, if it's gonna happen and we're only gonna do it once let's do it right right Let's do it right. with this team of people right. that encompassing. Yeah. Care. Why don't you let us make you as comfortable as possible? Right. right? And your loved ones because right. it cares for the patient and it cares for their whole family. Right. And whatever that dynamic is, because we know all families have different dynamics. Exactly. You can't they don't put, all you, get along. And that's the type of thing that you can't put a price tag on. Nope. Right? I mean these are these are the the, the, the these are the values that Samaritan brings to the table mm -hmm. that that again, that not everybody does. I know you're chomping at the bit here. You want to jump in? Yeah, and, so, and so, because I've had experience, like I've had to take care of like, my mother-in-law. Right. And so I understand, like, it's a very, it is an awkward thing that mm -hmm. we don't really talk about mm -hmm. death that much. We don't talk about sickness or illness that much, other than when someone's already in it. Right. So, what are some questions mm -hmm. that, you know, if we're going in, you know, if I'm going, or there's a doctor's appointment, and we're, we're there, what are we, what should we be asking Samaritan when they come in about? What to play. We always we like start? to tell people, you know, you start with the basics. Do you have a living will? Um, do you have your estate planning figured out? But we take it deeper. Uh, we can talk about how do you feel about pain? How do you want your pain to be managed? Um, what are your fears? What are your anxieties? Who is your primary caregiver? I'm going to answer all these questions if they can't for themselves. Then we can take it another level and spiritual needs music, um, family. To, uh, a friend of mine always says, I want you to play my favorite band. I want you to play the Grateful Dead. Okay. And if okay. that's what they want, right. If that's what you want. My mom said, I don't want to, I don't want to die at home. I want to be in the hospital. And I thought, really? <laughs> okay. Okay. Right. <laughs> Thank goodness I she had that conversation you, yeah. Of course, right. Yeah. Um, you know, to know, okay, well now I can be ready for that. Yeah. And, and what are her feelings around that? Um, I met a husband and wife, and the wife had cancer and still was going through aggressive treatment. Well, she did want to die at home, but her fear was what that would leave in that memory of her bedroom for her husband. Right. Mm. And she had never expressed that before, and the both of them looked at each other and, wow, we never had that conversation. This is good to know. And yeah. it was the light bulb went off, and now we can deal with this. 
So there are so many questions to ask, and we're so lucky with the internet now that you can um, find resources right. that will give you these questions, um, uh, easy ones. To, what's your favorite music? Do you want to pray? Uh, do you want a priest or no priest involved? Family there or not family there? And so, of course, before everyone starts Googling everything, we're going to be able to come I back do. and ask a few more questions. Because yeah. sometimes awesome. <laughs> Google can give you a yeah. little too much information yeah. Yeah. that can put you over the edge. So we'll be back with Christine shortly and talking more about at, um, advanced care planning and hospice that Samaritan offers. Um, just enjoy these sponsors real quick, and we'll be right back. When it's time for Jersey Mike's to make a really great sub, this is what we do. It's what we've been doing. It's what we've always done. It's what we'll always do. So what are you doing? Jersey Mike's. Be a sub above. Today's show has been sponsored by More Than Gifts. Come see our new location in Marlton, New Jersey. Not just gifts, but more. Today's show was brought to you by Alicia Kelly of Whitehorse RV Center in Williamstown, New Jersey. Alicia is your RV expert. Contact Alicia at alicia at whitehorserv.com or give her a call at 856-262-1717, extension 203. When you think of RV, think Alicia Kelly. When it's time for Jersey Mike's to give a sub some sizzle, this is the way. The way it's always been. The way it always should be. The way it always will be. Because that's just the way it's supposed to be. Jersey Mike's. Be a sub above. Extra Innings is the nation's premier indoor baseball and softball training center featuring indoor batting cages, seven multi-use tunnels, and training rooms. Extra Innings can provide professional instruction, private and group lessons, and the best year-round clinics. Along with a nationally recognized pro shop that features the latest and widest selection of equipment and apparel, our experienced staff can provide you with the right instruction and help you find the best equipment for your ability and budget. Extra Innings, where the game never ends. Today's show has been sponsored by More Than Gifts. Come see our new location in Marlton, New Jersey. Not just gifts, but more. Today's show has been sponsored by Farmers Insurance in Voorhees, New Jersey. To protect your assets and the people you love, call Mike Skoranek, your local Farmers Insurance agent, at 856-336-2553. Welcome back to Morning Coffee. I am Mark Cook. This is Biz, and we are moving right along talking to Christine from Samaritan Healthcare and Hospice. So, Christine, we've talked about uh, so far, we've talked about a lot of kind of the general, bigger things about Samaritan, right? And I have a couple things that I want to mention right now to make sure that everybody has all of the information they need. So, first off, Samaritan is a not for profit organization. Mm -hmm. That is important for people to know. And not only are they not-for-profit, they are non-sectarian. Mm -hmm. Is that the right way to say it? I think so. I'm busting out the dictionary this morning, folks. Well, Stick wait. around. Wait until you hear what I have to say next. So non-sectarian means that you guys aren't religious affiliated okay. with any religion specifically. And you talked about that a little while ago, that you guys are really going to answer the call of any need that that person may have and that need may be religious mm -hmm. but it's not defined by a uh, Samaritan it could be any denomination part of the hospice care team is a spiritual support counselor um, and they can address any kind of spiritual need possible however if a patient or family does have a specific need they're Catholic or they're Jewish 
we connect with the community um, and tend to those needs too because there's a lot of rituals and traditions that come with those and we want to honor that because that's part of a person their religious beliefs right. um, makes them part of who they are so we will meet that person where they are um, but are flexible and can can go anywhere. right right and it's see this is kind of like I, I want to hammer this point home and I'm gonna beat you over the head with it okay they're a not-for-profit organization okay <laughs> which means they accept donations from people that may not necessarily need the care right now, but maybe want to pay it forward and do something really good, maybe get a tax deduction while they're at it, right? Of course. So all you have to do is, is go to SamaritanNJ.org. There's a little button at the top. It says donate. You click on that, and you can donate any amount of money that you want. And any, any amount that you donate... It helps Samaritan care for people in your community. The dollars stay right here in South Jersey, people. They're not going to other parts of the country. This is important for people to know. Every dollar counts. Um, and Samaritan's care is able to continue because of donations. Um, part of the uh, hospice team is complementary therapies. It's massage and music therapists. Um, that is not reimbursed by Medicare, so donations allow us to continue to provide massage therapy and music therapy um, to patients and families who need it. Our whole Center for Grief Support, which is another level of care uh, we provide, is uh, not reimbursed by Medicare. Um, we offer support groups. That is because of community donations. Yeah, it's, it's really kind of an awesome dynamic. and. You know, I, it was it was neat. Just during the break there, uh, real quick, full disclosure, I went on the website on my phone, right? I figured, I figured. And it looks it looks awesome even on a phone, right? The website is slick. Now it's not like slick and fancy, like all these stuffs gonna pop up and videos and all. That. No, it's just it's it's got good information. It's got very clear pictures of the facilities that you guys have. It lays out all of the information that that they provide or all of the services that they provide. And you can learn about the, the team members, the, the people that there's biographies on your CEO and your COO and, and, and where they've come from and how their expertise applies to what you guys are doing at Samaritan today, where you've been, where you're going, where you are. These are all really cool and unique things about Samaritan that really, if you guys are out there and you're in this situation and you haven't considered Samaritan, you're you're missing a big piece of the puzzle. And I'm not even sure what camera to look at. I'm just I'm looking at all of them because it's important. It's important for you if you need the care or someone that you love needs the care. Samaritan is the place to go, and so easily accessible by SamaritanNJ.org, right? Listen, what you're saying is priceless. If I could bring you with me everywhere I go, <laughs> Let's go. I would. Let's go. Let's tell the people, this is so important, our website, I appreciate that. Uh, we try to make it easy for people to find this information. Um, it is a difficult time when someone is seriously yeah. ill. Absolutely. Not everybody's thinking properly. We're, we're confused. We're yeah. scared. We're worried. And yeah. we don't want to make that process harder. Yeah. And, 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 and Biz, I, I do this to Biz all the time, right? I, jump, I, I, I get on something and then I just talk and talk and talk and she, after the break she's like, yo, you gonna go let me ask a question? No, no, no. <laughs> no, she's not. She's too sweet for that. But here's, here's the thing, you know, when you are entering that, it, it is a hard time. Of course. And you need people that are easy to talk to mm -hmm. and that understand. And I'm getting that from you that, look, you've, you guys have been through almost any sort of situation. You're ready for it. Mm -hmm. You understand because you have the experience and the expertise. Where it, it's not a, uh, hey, this is a new thing that we're trying and, and we hope it works because, you know, we've heard. No, 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 no. They're certified by Medicare and Medicaid and the state of New Jersey. They're JCO accredited. They have all of these things that, that the, the healthcare pr that is important in healthcare to have. I just blew her mind. She doesn't, <laughs> so she doesn't understand what I do here. This is her first time. She'll get it. It's fine. Stay with me, Christine. I'm we're going to be, we're going to be just fine. But because I can't stop talking, I've run into another break again. So we are <laughs> going right. to take a quick break, but we are going to come back and we're going to wrap up with Christine. We're going to give you all the information you need to be able to get in touch with Samaritan. So stick with us. We'll be right back on Morning Coffee on the Radio Vision Network.
When it's time for Jersey Mike's to make a really great sub, this is what we do. It's what we've been doing. It's what we've always done. It's what we'll always do. So what are you doing? Jersey Mike's. Be a sub above. Today's show has been sponsored by More Than Gifts. Come see our new location in Martha, New Jersey. Not just gifts, but more. Today's show was brought to you by Alicia Kelly of Whitehorse RV Center in Williamstown, New Jersey. Alicia is your RV expert. Contact Alicia at alicia at whitehorserv.com or give her a call at 856-262-1717, extension 203. When you think of RV, think Alicia Kelly. When it's time for Jersey Mike's to give a sub some sizzle, this is the way. The way it's always been. The way it always should be. The way it always will be. Because that's just the way it's supposed to be. Jersey Mike's, be a sub above. Extra Innings is the nation's premier indoor baseball and softball training center featuring indoor batting cages, seven multi-use tunnels, and training rooms. Extra Innings can provide professional instruction, private and group lessons, and the best year-round clinics. Along with a nationally recognized pro shop that features the latest and widest selection of equipment and apparel, our experienced staff can provide you with the right instruction and help you find the best equipment for your ability and budget. Extra Innings, where the game never ends. Today's show has been sponsored by More Than Gifts. Come see our new location in Marlton, New Jersey. Not just gifts, but more. Today's show has been sponsored by Farmers Insurance in Voorhees, New Jersey. To protect your assets and the people you love, call Mike Skoranek, your local Farmers Insurance agent, at 856-336-2553. We are Farmers. Bum, 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 bum. And welcome back to Morning Coffee. Thank you again for staying tuned. We still have Christy with Samaritan Healthcare and Hospice here with us. My host, Mark, here. I'm Biz. And we're going to jump right back into it. So we ended with you just giving a, just an amazing amount of information regarding the certifications and the availability and how to contact them. Um, I definitely want to talk about, you guys have an event coming up. So we if do. people haven't yet had the conversation, or maybe they have, and maybe they could like squeeze up a little, you know. Um, a, bit, a way bit. to uh, dabble in having this conversation about your end of life wishes is to an attend an event we're having on June 16th at our administrative office in Marlton. Um, it is a, a showing of front lines being mortal. Uh, 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 Tul Gawande is a doctor. He wrote this great book about being mortal and physicians having these end of life conversations with their parents. Um, and it's in a documentary form that PBS aired on Frontline. It's an hour long. It is um, fantastic. It is emotional. It is touching. It is thought provoking. Uh, so, it, you know, because it really does touch your heart and you need a little talk about it too. And With, then it can go home. Okay, so, so this, sounds, uh, this sounds awesome. So if anybody has even a, 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 li a minor question or mm -hmm. if this applies. So June 16th yep. uh, at, at the location that's right there on Eve's Drive yes. in Marlton, yes, right? right off Route 73. Yeah, and really Andrew easy Road. to get to. That's mm -hmm. another thing about Samaritan. It's such a great location. It's, it, it's right uh, in the heart of South Jersey on Eve's Drive in Marlton. So on June 16th, you could just go. We watched this hour-long video, which is nothing. Uh, well. It's nothing in terms of time. It's right. an hour-long video, but you're going to get so much good you information, are. and then you're going to be able to have a, a little Q and A and ask questions mm -hmm. to to the people that have the answers directly in a real uh, soft and comfortable setting with no pressure of any sort of anything that yeah. would make you uncomfortable. You're not going to have to fill out any legal documents <laughs> yeah, or right. sign away your life at all. Yeah. Yeah. But you will walk away with um, how you feel about this kind of care, about yourself, for your loved ones, 
it'll start your your you thinking. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, and even if your question is as simple as how long does it take to start the process from when I come in to when my my uh, loved one receives care, mm -hmm. right? And I don't. We're not going to answer that right now because you need to go on June sixteenth. And, and ask okay. the question there. I mean, that's a that's a question I'm sure you guys get all the time. Do. That that is easily answered if you make it out to the event. So I know there's another uh, picture we want to show you guys of. Um, this is just of the location inside one of the locations, right? I, I believe. No, it, it, it's, it's not. A, it's I don't know what I, I don't know what it is. I'm, okay, <laughs> that's but, okay. You can't know everything. It's all right. We got wait you. a second. I can't. No, no. Oh man, then we've You've got been a, a wonderful job. <laughs> You've been like pulling stuff out of everywhere. It's, it's a graphic. Um, we love to educate the community about um, our, our our services and talking about end of life. It's let's talk. Let's talk about what matters most now um, before it's too late. So, Christine, this has been uh, really cool and informative and, and, and fun and all that stuff. Um, but right now, what I need you to do is I want you to look into okay. camera one and, and just give any information that you want to give. Uh, invite people to, to learn more about Samaritan. I could talk all afternoon, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's try to keep it to a couple minutes. And, okay. No, no, no. You're, honestly, if you want to talk all afternoon, let's do it. People might get bored, but um, <laughs> I just want everybody to visit SamaritanNJ.org. Uh, think about your advanced care planning um, now before it's too late because it will give you such peace of mind. It'll help you and your loved ones make decisions um, that will provide comfort, support, and dignity. If you have any questions about this topic, SamaritanNJ.org provides the answers. It will also give you resources on different questions that you can ask yourself and your loved ones to get this dialogue started. And when can you have these conversations? Um, it'll give you a little bit of uh, tips on when and where you can ask these questions as well. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Mm -hmm. And so thank you so thank much you. for taking the time out of your clearly busy and productive schedule. I've got to do. Yeah. I know, right? Just speak, <laughs> with, us, move. speak with the viewers, thank making you. sure that they're aware of this. Because this is important, and it's sort of, it's not something that's a topic that's breached very frequently, right. but it's so vital it to everyone, especially if when you have family members. Absolutely. And when you yeah. have any close friends, um, if you don't have, like, large families. So, again, Samaritan Healthcare and Hospice, Christy Cordy, thank, thank you so you. much. Definitely, you guys, stay tuned. We have a lot of fun additional content coming. So we're going to go back to our sponsors. Yeah. And then Mark and I will be back. Yeah. We're going to have breakfast with the boss later. It's going to be an awesome day.